Well, hello, students. In the last program, you learned how to use print to print numbers and strings or values, and also how to save your program and how to choose a theme or a base plate to put your object in. Now we're going to continue talking about Roblox Studio Elements. Roblox Studio is an extremely powerful tool that you can use to create Roblox games, as you know. So we talk about that we could choose any theme or start creating on a base plate anything that we want, like a tycoon or an obi, a tower, a defense game, a role-playing game, anything that you can think of. Now in Roblox Studio, there are many visual elements. You learn about the command bar and output on the last video. But what is the explorer? Well, the explorer, let me open this over here so you can see it better. And as you can see, what I did is I click and I drag to the left, but you can do also uh, make it bigger so you can see it. The explorer is a panel, as you can see on the right, where you can view all the components of the game. If you click on the carrot next to the workspace icon right here, to open up the workspace, then they'll see, you'll see camera, terrain, and base plate. If you click out, it will close out. You can see that? You, you click in and out. Workspace is the folder where all the visible components of the game will exist. All bricks that you want to be visible must be in workspace. They are called bricks because most of the times Characters and other buildings are built by bricks or by putting one part joined with another or anchored to another. The base plate under the workspace is the white gray brick that you see, sort of like a base plate or Lego. Make sure that you nod to delete the camera on the base plate. The camera is your point of view in the Roblox Studio Virtual World. If you delete it, the game will automatically regenerate it, but your point of view or where you are looking will be reset to the center of the base plate. If you delete the base plate, all players that enter your game will have nothing to spawn and fall, and they will fall indefinitely. That means that if, for example, you delete it, the camera or your base plate here, as you can see, is on the right. Then when a, a player comes into the game, there won't be no floor, right? <laughs> because this is where all your world is going to be created. This is your base. Um, you know, everything is going to go on top of this. This is your first layer. So if you delete that, then when somebody comes into your game, they will fall indefinitely in space until they die. And this will happen, of course, repeatedly because it's a video game. Now, you can make it invisible, but it should not be deleted. The terrain element is, well, the terrain of the game. Right now, we have the base plate, and we'll show later on that if we choose the toolbox or the terrain editor over here, you can see that we can regenerate terrain. And we'll go through this step in a second. But for now, I wanted to, you, you to know that this is the terrain editor. Rock, grass, or water terrain can be added or gen generated, but this will not be covered right now. We will cover this later after we have built some objects inside of the base plate. Another window on the screen is the properties panel. The Properties panel shows the properties of objects that you select. For example, if we click on the base plate in the Explorer window under Workspace, and you click scrolling down, You can see that there's many more things underneath here. If 
We click on Base Play and then you can see in the Properties window right here. Let me open it a little bit so we can see what's in there. Now this is very important. You're going to get really familiar if you want to become a, a good um, developer with the properties part of Base Play. The properties window shows the properties of the selected object, such as as it is. In this case, we only have the base, base plate, so it's just showing us that the brick color is dark stone gray, where it is located on the map, what is the material, plastic, etc. It also shows us material, reflectance, transparency, name or orientation. Using this window, you could delete the base plate by setting its transparency property to 1, but this is more for advanced settings. It is not recommended that you try to delete or at, the t at this time try to put this as an invisible base plate for now. Now that we know the output, the command prompt, and what some of the things are inside of the exploded R, let's get familiar with the toolbox. Now let me tell you, for a beginner developer, this was extremely fun. Pretty much, the toolbox window is where you can find free models by searching in the text field at the top, just like we did before for Mansion. For example, I could put the word Office, and you will see that you can create complete buildings. We will learn how to move them around in a second. If I get closer, you can see that you have a whole building in which characters can already interact with and move around. We will learn this, how to attach this to the base plate or whatever thing you choose. The imagination is the limit. I'm going to delete it with undo. Models are groupings of bricks that can be moved around easily instead of moving each individual brick. You can also search for audio, decals, and messages by clicking on the drop down that says models. You will learn more about models later, but for now, just learn that this is pretty much objects that have already been created by other programmers, entrepreneurs or developers and have been donated for free or put in here so you can use for free. For example, if we enter the word car or Lamborghini, which I learned is one of the favorite cars for kids of every age on here, and then click on Lamborghini on the ring one we will get a green Lamborghini on our base plate. Now, if you think that the Lamborghini doesn't work, you might be wrong. Some of these Lamborghinis are with already with the programming to be able to, for a kid or a character to test the game and play the game, get on the car and drive away with the car. It is amazing. To test your game, we need to click on the button. and then play or run the game. Your character should spin in the center of the base plate, walking the car, and you might be able to drive it around. I said you might be able to drive it around because sometimes some of these programs or cars have not been built accurately. Remember what we said about that some developers might have not developed everything fully. As you can see, as you can see, if I press W, I can go with the car. As you can see, I was able to get in the car and drive around. It also has sound.
Your character can get out of the car by pressing the space bar. By pressing the space bar. Remember that your character can jump with the space bar, move around, and normally will enter the car when it's not being programmed already in a game by just jumping on the car and then with the space bar jump out. Whenever you want to stop playing the game, just click stop and you will go back to the editor or studio. You can use the toolbox to search for any model and put almost anything into your game. However, do make sure to give credit to the original creator of the free model. Finally, to get back to editing your game, click the red square next to the play button. Later on, we're going to learn what we can do with these elements and how they can be interlinked to create an awesome game. Please join me in the next video where we're going to learn how to use the scripts in Lua programming for Roblox. Thank you.